Golly Vibes family, good to see you. Will Smith, ladies and gentlemen, performed at the BET Awards this past weekend, uh, I'm guessing. Um, I didn't watch the awards, but I was tagged in this video numerous times. So, safe to say I've seen the performance of Will Smith. He uh, did a gospel song. I guess he has a gospel song that he just released called You Can Make It. Shannon Moore is up top. Also, Sunday Choir Service. Also, in the video, Kurt Franklin um, ended up joining the show not too long in. But people, I mean, when I tell you, it hasn't really been a... Um, a great response as far as TikTok's concerned. They're not having it. I don't know who needs to hear. They don't like the whole that they, they, they you know people are saying things like it looks real rich, rich, ritual. Um. And many people have tagged me in the whole situation, wanting to get my take on it. Uh, you know, you have Kurt Franklin in, in the in in the video in the the show, Chandler Moore. Um, here's my honest take on it. Well, you have a lot of comments. People aren't having it, right? We wear a wolves in sheep's clothing. Oh, that's not. Please, not y'all. Please talk about this imagery, please, because this don't look right. I mean, a lot of people just are not having it. I'm so confused right now. Y'all need to refund my Kingdom tour. I mean, listen. <laughs> Here's my honest take on it. Right? Let's look at some of the lyrics from the song, first of all. The darker the hell you gotta endure, the brighter the heaven you get to enjoy. The harder the fall, the higher you soar. She raps on the song. God opens a window when the devil closes the door. Believe me, they tried to bleed Will Smith. In the review, I see adversity, I see adversity was a gift. To lift me and hire gifts requires faith. That's his, um, the lyrics to his song. Also, at the, end of the, at the end of the show, he said this. An easy ride. We all have a cross to bear. But there is wisdom in that fire. And every single moment of your life is a brand new Hold on. In that fire. And every single moment of your life is a brand new opportunity. We are not being punished. We are being forged. Dancing, dancing in your darkest moments. In other words, uh, kind of join your tribulation. Right? Now, this is what I'll say. Will Smith is not a... Uh, publicly proclaimed Christian. He's not somebody who's just out there saying that he loves and believes in Jesus Christ. He's not that. You don't look at Will Smith or you don't look at Will Smith in that way where um you go hard on him when he's doing a gospel song in a, in a certain type of way he wants to do it. You know what I mean? As in, like, his show or something like that. As, as you would somebody who's proclaiming to be a Christian or proclaiming to walk with the Lord. You, you get what I'm saying? He, he's a secular artist who's trying to do something as far as gospel music. Am I upset with that? I don't see why I would be upset with that. If he's trying, if, if, if he's genuine and he's trying to show the Lord in a performance on BET, I don't see why I would be upset with that. Now, people joining him who are proclaimed to be Christians, that, that would be more of a topic to, to discuss than me saying something about Will Smith you know what I mean? And, and saying that he's wrong. Now, you've seen me do videos on Will Smith where I feel like he's wrong. When he's when they were talking about uh, his religious beliefs and he was saying, you know, stare at yourself. 
that's what I believe the meaning of life is. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? She's not saying nothing about Christ, not saying nothing about the word of God. I'm not one that to be put into position to make him seem like he's great just because he is Will Smith. I'm not, but I'm also not one to be put in position to make it seem like I think that he's wrong because a lot of people are saying it. In Will Smith's mind, right, he, he, he's not in a place where he's submitted and following Christ. You, for one, you have to understand that. So in Will Smith's mind, him joining a gospel choir, him joining Chandler Moore and Kurt Franklin, is him taking steps into the right direction. Let's understand that, for one. It's him taking steps into a direction that he may think is godly. Can the Lord begin to make a move on him? Taking those steps? Yes. So why in the world would I say something bad about that when it's clearly showing that he's trying to take steps into a certain area? What kind of, what, what kind of man would that make me? What kind of Christian would that make me? What kind of man of God would that make me? Seeing somebody who's com clearly secular try to take steps into coming into this place. Why is it always, let's not, Let's not make it Christians that attack baby Christians or people who may be coming into a place of becoming Christians. Let, let's, let's knock that off. And this is, coming from my, this is coming from me, somebody who's very fast to say when somebody's in a satanic place. I don't care if you proclaim Christian or not. But I don't just look at people on the... The carnal, in the carnal perspective, we have to understand that understand that there's souls. Will Smith is a very, very famous, very, very rich man. He did not have to come out with a gospel group. He did not have to come out saying everybody has a cross, a cross to bear. He didn't have to come out with these different things, trying to uplift people in a way that he believes it. You uplift them. Clearly, we understand that that's even vanity because the only way to truly free people is through Christ. But can the Lord work on his heart in this position while he's in this space? Yes. I think that's what we need to focus on more than trying to bring him down or talk about his performance or talk about whatever people are talking about. The Lord can use this or people who follow Will Smith to, to see this and work on their heart in different ways. You know, Will Smith has been battered through the media in all kinds of different ways. And when you get to that point where you're rock bottom in your heart, the Lord can really move. And who knows if he's in that place? I pray for Will to come into a place of submission. I pray for Will to come into a place of sacrifice fully. Fully. Do I believe that he is right now just because he made a, just because he did a show with, you know, Sunday Choir and Chandler Moore and Kurt Franklin? No. No. First of all, I don't believe that just because people say that they're Christians, they're actually true Christians. But do I believe that the Lord can move? Hallelujah. And that's what I pray for. That's what I pray for. I'm not going to be one of the people who joins the group in bashing Will Smith when he's clearly trying to do something good in his own mind. I'm going to be one of the people who prays for him to understand that even that's vanity. I'm going to be one of those people who prays for him to understand that the true freedom is bringing them into Christ, not bringing them into motivational speeches, not bringing them into feeling good about themselves. I'm going to be one of those people. If I ever meet him, I'll say these exact words. You can only talk about people feeling good. You can only motivate them in a certain way for so long. True freedom comes in Christ. True eternal life and light comes through Christ. Developing in them, being engrafted in them. God's word coming in them. Because Will Smith is a very motivational person. Motivational speeches, being happy, this and that. Clearly it has gotten him nowhere but brokenhearted and down here. And I believe the Lord is coming into a place where he's pulling this man. Clearly, if he wanted to do a song like this on the BET Award show, 
he's coming into a place where he's pulling his heart. And I pray that he truly comes into a place of submission. That's my take on it. I'm not going to sit here and bash Will Smith. It's not going to happen. My take is I pray he begins his true journey. Because this whole journey that he's been on his whole life, that was never his true journey. It, it was a journey, but none of us truly get on our true path until we step in submission to Christ. None of us truly get into our true purpose until we begin our purpose in God. So... I pray he begins that purpose. I, pr I pray he begins that journey. Hallelujah. If I ever meet the man, I will allow the Lord to speak through me and be a vessel for God. Not be under some kind of spell because he's a famous person. Many people get into a place where they don't even know what they're saying anymore. They, they, things go out the window because they're in front of Will Smith. He's a human being. He's a soul that needs help. Amen. Let me know what you let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. I'd love to get you guys uh, get your opinions and read some through some of the comments. Interact. Amen. Let me know what you guys think about this whole video. I love you guys. God bless you.